So I think this is the sixth time I've um, been here at EGS, uh, originally suggested by my old friends Avatar and Alan Chris Finsk, I think, who I knew very well from years before. Um, the first time I came, I was immediately very struck and very taken by the, the situation in which this takes place, uh, high up in the mountains, contrast between the cuckoo clock aesthetic down in the valley, the really very tall mountains looming overhead. And that gives a certain atmosphere to the, to the place, a certain intensity already, I think, from that geographical um, situation. And if you add to that the uh, really uh, very intensive and intense um, schedule, it's a, very, it's a very tiring process, it's a very intense process, that gives um, already something quite special to this experience compared to other teaching experiences that I've had. And then um, what is terrific about EGS is that there's a very minimal bureaucratic institutional overhead, if I can put it that way. Um, it's very easy to come here and just teach, just um, present what one wants to present to groups of students who are very diverse from many different backgrounds with a wide range of competence and, and interests. And that too adds to a, a, a very unusual, I think, and very special, for me at least, very special um, experience. What I've been teaching this year is a course called um, Politics in Deconstruction. Um, contrary to, I think, current fashion, I still think deconstruction is really the only game in town, intellectually, uh, including for thinking about politics. Um, what I do in the class is not really so much present Dehida's thinking about politics directly, but to read a certain number of texts from the tradition of political philosophy in what I think of as a deconstructive spirit. So I think the students are sometimes a little surprised that we spend most of our time reading Plato and Aristotle and Hobbes and Rousseau, and then at the end um, a little bit of Derrida um, anyway. And that's variations on this is, is what I've done each time I've been at um, EGS and usually found it an extremely rewarding experience. Probably this will give rise to a book and once the book is written I'll teach something else um, when I come back. So um, EGS for me is a really intense experience of academic and intellectual freedom and um, a certain degree of unpredictability. You never knows what to expect from the students, you never know exactly how the course is going to um, pan out, and all of that in this extraordinary uh, framework of the Alps and the snow up there on the peak.